Hello everyone. I am here today because we are going to be making a low carb keto macaroni and cheese. Guys, I know you guys love macaroni and cheese, so I thought I would come to you and show you how to make it healthy. Hello, Regina. I just saw you jumped on. Thank you for joining me. So I did a bunch of prep work. This is a recipe that takes a little bit longer than my normal recipes, but I have noticed someone say something about sides and we don't ever want to leave out sides. So if you're grilling out or doing something fun with some friends, this is an amazing recipe that you guys can take with you. So what, I'm gonna go through the recipes, but before I do that, I wanna let you guys know my name is Dee. I am from Ohio, so hello. Please tell me if you're new, if you're live, or, hey Shelby, thanks for joining me, or if you are jumping on for um, a replay, hashtag replay down in the comments. So what I have done, and I've got a little piece of paper because I need notes today, um, what you will need is a head of cauliflower. Now I'm serving um, just a few people, so if you need to serve more, you're going to double your recipe, maybe even triple it. So I just took a head of cauliflower and I prepared it by cutting it and breaking it into bite-sized pieces. I put my oven on 400 degrees. So if you can see right here, and let me grab a glove, because I'm gonna show you. So I roasted my cauliflower here. They're bite-sized pieces. And what I did is um, I added some oil, some EVOO to the top. I did salt and pepper and I did Italian seasoning. So, and I always, of course, I'm gonna drop the recipe down in the comments so you guys can make this, and then you guys can also share with me a picture of what you made, that's always awesome. So the additional ingredients, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna break that up, season it, you're gonna pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes, okay? So as that was cooking, I actually prepared the rest of my ingredients and that way it's just easier when on video. So, you're gonna need one tablespoon of butter, and this is what I'm getting ready to do. One tablespoon of butter, two garlic cloves. Now what I do is I have a jar of um, already like chopped garlic, so I just did two teaspoons. One cup of heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need one cup of mozzarella, one cup of Parmesan cheese, one cup of cheddar cheese. You're gonna need a third cup of cream cheese. And then I also made bacon ahead of time. So I made fried bacon up, I cut it up, and I crumbled it so it's ready to go. The next thing you're gonna need is you're going to need a casserole dish, dish, and I sprayed it so it's ready to be popped back in the oven. So let's get started. So I'm gonna turn my stove on. And I'm gonna turn it on low because I'm going to brown my butter and my garlic. And if you've never done this before, your garlic can burn really quick. So you wanna put it on low and you really wanna pay attention to it. You can always, 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 when you're cooking this, just take it off the flame. If, if it gets to be where it's cooking or it looks like it's getting burnt, you can just take it off the flame and it's no longer gonna cook. So I'm just melting this, so I want it to brown just a little bit. So I hope you guys had an amazing day. It was a beautiful day outside, nice and sunny. So for those of you that had a chance to get outside, you guys went swimming or something fun, boating or just out enjoying the weather, that's awesome. So the other thing is I have kept my oven on because once I'm done making the cheese mixture, I will put my cauliflower inside the casserole dish and then I'm gonna pop it back into the oven for about 15 minutes. This does take a little bit of time, so you're just gonna have to be patient and hang out with me a little bit longer than you normally do. 
And while we're hanging out, and this is turning brown, I'm browning it. Um, if you love my videos, and I know you do, just go ahead and tap the screen anywhere on the screen. You're gonna see three little dots appear. Those are your notifications. And if you wanna watch me go live, just because I'm all over a little bit on Sundays and Tuesdays when I go live, I don't have a certain time I jump on. It's just whenever I have a minute, I go ahead and jump on and do a video for you. But if you would like to catch me live and be notified, just turn your notifications on by tapping the screen. You're gonna see those um, the little notification come up and just say, I wanna be notified when D goes live. So I'm actually gonna turn my temperature down a little bit because it's starting to bubble. And like I said, you can always lift your garlic and butter off of the flame. You do not want to burn this. And like I said, if you're not paying attention, it's going to burn really quickly. What I'm looking for is my butter to turn brown a little bit. So, it's turning a little bit of a brown color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's nice and bubbly. I smell the fragrance from the garlic. Very, very important here. When you have a hot pan like this, and you're getting ready to put something cold into it, like the heavy whipping cream. I've done this before and I learned the hard way. It's gonna come up and get you, okay? So you want to make sure you either move this off of the flame and do this, or you're all over it. Stir, stir, stir. So here I have, uh, let me see before I pour it in. So I have one cup of heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna put it back in the stove because I feel comfortable enough that that's not too hot. So I'm just adding my heavy whipping cream in here. I'm gonna turn my temperature on my stove up a little bit. And I'm going to continue to stir this. So I had a little baby spatula. I'm going to move to my bigger spatula. So before when I was telling you what goes into the recipe, your cheeses, your mozzarella and your, your Parmesan, you're gonna do half the amount into this mixture. So I'm gonna turn this down a little bit just so I can focus on um, getting my cheese in here. So I need a oops, half cup of mozzarella. And I'm gonna dump that in there. I need a half cup of Parmesan. And I need one cup, I'm just gonna use my half cup, but I'm gonna do it twice. I need one cup of the cheddar. So it's really only a matter of adding these cheese to butter, garlic, and heavy whipping cream and doing it nice and slow and melting your cheese. And I just have kind of a medium temperature going on, nothing crazy, you don't wanna bring it to a boil, you just want it hot enough to where it's melting. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a third cup of um, cream cheese. And I'm just going to stir it all together and melt it. Nice and slow. I'm even going to turn this down to low because I want to get my casserole dish ready and I'm actually going to take my crumbs here and just dump it in there. So here's my casserole dish. Remember, you spray it. And then my cauliflower that I roasted, I'm going to add my cauliflower to my casserole dish. 
So my cauliflower is nice and soft because I roasted it for 20 minutes and it's got all the good seasoning. I'm gonna stir my cheese again. So if you see here, I've got my cauliflower in the bottom of my casserole. I'm gonna turn the temperature back up so it's just a matter of babysitting this cheese. You want it nice and melty. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my bacon and I'm going to sprinkle it over my cauliflower. Maybe a little more. Stirring my cheese again because I definitely do not want this to burn. If you guys ever have any questions, please, please, please drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And if anybody is struggling with keto, low carb, and you guys are ready to get healthy, ready to switch your lifestyle to um, healthier and a better you, drop a heart down in the comments and I'll get you added to my group. I put the replays of the videos in the groups and it has a lot of information in there that you guys wanna check out. It's gonna help you change your lifestyle, get healthy, feel better. So, now this is all melted. So I don't know if you guys can really see that. I don't wanna pour it out, but it's a nice melted consistency. And I'm just going to pour this over my cauliflower. I'm gonna stop halfway because I want to mix it. Coat the bottom ah. and pour the rest in. Just so you guys know, this is the first time I've made this. So I want you guys to know, don't be afraid to try something new. Just because you haven't made something before, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna burn things, you're gonna throw things out. But the key to this is to just start doing it. Once you start doing it, you will start to learn and feel more comfortable making your, the dishes that you need. So, like I said earlier, this is part of my meal prep, so it is ready to go. I'm gonna eat this throughout the week. So if you're throwing seafood on the grill, burgers on the grill, hot dogs on the grill, this is a nice side dish to add to that. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some more bacon on top. And there it is, all ready to go. And then I'm gonna pop it into the oven for about 15 more minutes, just to make sure everything's nice and incorporated. And um, then I'll take it out and I'll put it in my to-go boxes for the week. And that's all I gotta do is pull it out and I have something yummy, healthy, that fits into my lifestyle. And I do not have to worry anytime during the week, what am I having for dinner or what am I having for lunch? So guys, Join me every Tuesday and Sunday for these easy, easy meals or treats on, on Tuesday and just start slow, baby steps. And thank you again for always supporting me, guys. I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great day. See you later.